before we start let me make this clear that this part is not for beginners this part will be the quick overview of how i created those models because i am not good at 3d modeling but there are some ways with which i somehow managed to make those models there will be some modifiers which i am going to be using i will make separate video series for the modifiers if you don't know how to draw concept art maybe this video will help you so let's just start with it i am simply going to make base structure with some basic shapes this is not going to be the final model so don't have to work in detail with this I am just simply using shortcuts here. Control B for bevel and I for inset. So I am happy with this base shape. I am going to add plane here with solidify modifier applied and the subdivision surface. and also i am going to add mirror modifier so i don't have to worry about the other side the spaceship which we are going to be creating in this video i have used this method with this plane just cover the basic shapes and while doing this you will find some interesting shape here i will be using shift e shortcut key for sharpen the edges
keep some areas open don't have to cover everything So if you are happy with the result, you can go directly create the details over it or you can just take the snaps from all angles and create the detail concept art over it. I am gonna be switching camera in orthographic view and I will render this in workbench renderer from all angles so that I can create concept art over it. so that's it for this method and there is another method in which i always start with default cube then just simply add the bevel and break the cube shape i am simply selecting some faces here and just duplicate it and extrude it to make another part again i'm adding the mirror modifier here so that i don't have to worry about the other side
so that's it in this way you can create different shapes let's just start with another method in which i will be creating some small detail shapes which later i can add those shapes to make smaller detail i have already added here the bevel modifier also i am using bool tool here to add some details to add some details and creating some small parts so that was just an example in this way i have created some small parts which i will combine with the previous methods i just show you and with which i have created this model you can see the small parts and its repetition and then i added some wires and some extra model parts over this these are basically the combination of the all methods i just show you you can see the repetitions of those parts then i simply added the basic materials and you can see these are the basically good renders with basic materials added just with adding simple materials you can have this result then sometimes i also use meta balls to create some random shapes with the blendings of meta balls you can find some interesting shapes like this you can see we are already getting something like spaceship
this is why most of the time i use this technique and now you can convert this to mesh once you are happy with the shape so that we can go for sculpting By the way, this is still on the experimental level only, only for the concept art, not for the final model. Using this method, I have created this gun. can still see the separate parts which i can edit then you can take its render in orthographic view and you can make your concept art over it you can add more details than this i have just simply created this for an example Once you have your concept art, now you can go for modeling. I am simply dragging the front view. Then I will add the side view and top view as well. Then I will take the one cube, match it with references from all the sides. Once I match the cube from all angles, now I can delete that cube and start modeling. I am switching the front and side view at a time so that I can see the modeling progress.
and done. I added this subsurface modifier. Then I am simply unwrapping the small parts and applying the basic material. Our next tutorial on this topic will be the detail over the texturing and materials. So that's why I am not gonna explain everything in this video. Because the next video will be specially for that. Then I set its origin in the way so that I can animate it. So that's it for this video. And in next video, I will show you how I textured this model.